Hey fellow Force users and fellow superheroes, what is up? It's Jasmine, the Ahsoka channel fan, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, it's time for another episode of Hawkeye. This actually puts us, I think, halfway through, because I believe we have six episodes this season. The last episode was actually my favorite thus far. I was looking at your comments, just in general, about different theories you guys had. It seems like you guys enjoyed the episode as well. But yeah, no, it was really good. There was a lot of action. We got to see Echo's backstory, and we got to even catch a glimpse of the kingpin we got to see some nice bonding moments between kate and clint as well and then of course at the end there we kind of were left with a little bit of a cliffhanger which every episode has ended on the, so far where they were on the bishop's computer and it looks like they found that kazi was an employee of a sloan limited company. It should be interesting to see what happens in this episode and to see what Jack has to say. We still have to figure out what is going on with the mom and, and Jack and I know that a lot of us are kind of starting to suspect the mom now. I did see one interesting theory in the comment section where someone said that the father could potentially still be alive and disguised as the fiance Jack, which is really interesting. That would be quite the twist. But anyways guys, I don't want to speculate too much. Um, I just want to dive in and see what's in store for us. Okay, so this episode's called Partners, am I right? Secrets are revealed and hard truths emerge, culminating in a battle against two opposing forces. Okay, so the fact that they say hard truths emerge, does that mean that Kate's gonna find out the truth about her mom? Or is Echo gonna find out that Hawkeye was the Ronin and that he killed her father? <laughs> I feel like them running over Santa is just so symbolic of their Christmas being a train wreck so far because <laughs> of everything going on. Oh yeah, she's supposed to meet with the cops. So who locked her up? Was it the mom? Was it Jack? <laughs> Song never gets old. Oh, she's there? And why is there an Avenger in my dining room? The mom was there, but they just... She was just hiding? Hmm. It's kind of not how I was expecting that exchange to go. He's my partner. You guys are totally friends. Stop playing around. Someone <laughs> used my laptop to sign on my work account 10 minutes ago. Any thoughts, Kate? DCB1 has trouble opening up. CB1? <laughs> like Clint, Bar Clint Barton one? Oh my god, Hawkeye! <laughs> Trying to change the subject. By the way, thank you. I would like my daughter to start telling me the truth. Yeah, I don't think that Jack is the original father disguised. I don't know. It's possible though. But you are working together. Yes. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to trust everyone at this table to do what's right. Oh, he sees that's the Ronan sword, right? Okay, we should stay. Was that an invitation or a threat? Or? The mom's acting so weird. What you gonna say? Let me clarify. Yeah. She is not a superhero. Oh yeah, come on, let me do that. I'm just pretty good at all this, but... Natasha Romanoff was pretty damn good at it, wasn't she? Hmm, damn. Being good isn't always enough to keep you alive. Being That's good it. isn't always enough yeah. to keep you alive. There's almost two ways to read that line. Like good isn't good person too. Like she could be bad, the mom. I cannot lose Kate. So you'll forget this kiss? I can't do that. But what I can do is ensure your daughter stays safe. She's gonna try and kill him? Yeah, because what I was saying was that line. She, oh, he stole it. I knew it. Oh, shit. Mm -mm. Oh, Laura, that's the wife. That's wifey right there. Um, Yeah, the way she said being good isn't always enough to keep you alive. There's two ways to read that. It's like good as in skilled or good as in a good person. So maybe that's hinting at the fact that the mom is not good. Like she's actually a villain. Hey, Could you call me back, please? It's urgent. What is she gonna do? Try and kill him? I talked to that friend of yours, and we're rushing and jockeying the time. Jack said, just going to the front. Uh huh. Jack, CEO. You want your money to the good guy? I'm the guest. You're gonna need another day. Are you sure they're not gonna out for a Domingo? German. I don't know how they spell German. Why? I've had this 
Nothing's broken. Huh? Put your feet up. Ice them if you have to. Okay. Love you. Wow. You He's got a good wife. She's not one of the wives that's like, stop doing that. Stop running around. She's like, what do you need me to do? <laughs> Never had to worry about her in that time. They know she's right there, right? Would you like something to eat? No. Thanks. What is going on with these two? They just act so weird. Well, I really need to talk to you about Jack. I think can we um, can we change the subject? Yep, she always wants to change the subject. Oh, she's I, uh, guilty. I'm sure there's plenty of dancing. Well, my mother doesn't dance. I beg to differ. Darling? Chestnut, milking, on an open fire. I feel like everything they say has multiple meanings. Two years. Don't give up your day I job. I've seen you like that before. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Life is short. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> but, what did I say? Every time you use one of those aphorisms, they're wrong. But no. Uh, Absence makes the heart grow older. Uh, <laughs> That's what it does. <laughs> the heart grow fonder. <laughs> Why are they kissing like that in front of the dot? Well, it's maybe, I don't know. I wonder, is she thinking of her father? Or is she thinking of Clint, maybe? Oh, is he using her strategy of multitasking? Like, um, thawing out food while also healing um, his injuries? She did that, I think, with like a frozen pizza box. That's her, isn't it? Oh my god! The dogs are hilarious. Costume we've been waiting for. So, Movie Marathon night, right? Check this out. Um, She's so adorable. Stop. That's great, though. Oh. Thanks. Is there a butt coming? Put a pause in that and uh, talk about Sword Boy for a minute. And Jack Duquesne is the CEO. Wait a second. Oh my god. This is putting me in the spirit, cops. yeah. We need to get the cops off my back. TSM. The thing is, are you sure that's Charlie Race? Oh, talk about leaving evidence that they're brainstorming. Yeah, well, if old trick goes with boomerangs, then we'd have them all. Coming back at us. He'd have to dodge. <laughs> well, I could knock somebody unconscious with that at 20 feet away. Prove it. On her? <gasps> Snap. What other tricks does he have up his sleeve? Oh. She's gonna get that down pack by the end of the series. Oh my God. Whoa, not bad, girl. Best show you ever took? Uh, the one I didn't take. Never mind. Shouldn't have said it. Oh, come on, you can't do that. Never mind. Nothing. What? Well, come on, what does he mean by that? Like leaving the profession or something? It's just not a good story. Oh, or is he talking about him and Nat? I was sent to take her out. And when I got there, it was time I could do. Him and Natasha. Mm hmm. Thought so. She Damn. was the best it was. Damn. You can really feel it in Natasha's presence in this okay. series. Sorry. Even though she's not alive. Oh, is he looking at his, that thinking of his own family? You lost your family. Is that why you make fun? Oh. When are you gonna tell her, Clint? When are you gonna tell her? It's you, isn't it? Oh! She went there. I've already dealt with the blip now, am I? Oh, shit. I knew it. Because she, I was gonna say, she has good instincts, right? You were a hero. I was a weapon aimed by the right people, the right targets. Hmm. my family. Damn. I I she always tries to see the good in him, regardless. But do they know that the Ronin killed Maya's father? I don't know if Maya told him that, right? See, no matter what she finds out about him, she still idolizes him. That speaks a lot to her character. No, don't take it out. What if someone's in the house? Mm -mm. Oh my god, 
a scene never gets easier to watch. See, three days till Christmas, and we have three more episodes left. Coincidence? I think not. Tracer arrow stopped moving. It's over by an NYPD facility down by the bridge, and now the LARPers, they're mostly first responders. There's a cop. Okay, so we're gonna see the LARPers again. I like to think of them more as our arrows. Okay, go get our arrows. Because the last time we saw the LARPers, I kind of mentioned I was hoping for a little bit more from the scene, but maybe this scene will kind of add to the other scene. I guess we're going to see Grills again. Oh. Basically, all we need is some casual run of the mill evidence tampering. If you make it worth my while. Worth our while. Payment? Whatever, whatever you want. It's going to be great. But you never asked what they wanted. <laughs> Kazi, what is he up to? Oh. Is he going to tell her? You know what my boss wants. And you know, you still get done. So what do you know? I know he doesn't like this attention, that's for sure. The kingpin. I know my obsession one down from him down. He's dangerous. That's what he talked to her about, right? Oh. But maybe it's the box covered under the seat. Mm -mm. This is the final warning. Let's get it done. Hey, can I have my gun back? Yeah, only a tick. Ha Yeah, the Christmas carols definitely kind of throw you off. It definitely creates a lot of a contrast between the darker moments in the show and it adds like a joyous tone. How are you doing? Better than yours, I'd say. Not gonna lie, I look pretty good at the Lightning. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I made them. We get you the arrows and info, and you get us materials for a new costume. Enough materials to make your costume, plus two more. Oh, is that when they're gonna make Hawkeye's costume? Needs a little help with theirs. Yeah. <laughs> I asked you to simply retrieve my arrows. Next stage of play. Um, we're a, we're a guild. <laughs> wow. Wifey came through. There you go. We gotta, we gotta go. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, this is my bag. What? Okay. You didn't bring your own bag? My wife gave me this bag. It's embroidered. It says bombshell. Hey, we'll get it back to you. Yeah, I'll make sure of it. Oh. I promise. That's kind of a messy situation. You better not lose the bag. Something very important is pinging inside that apartment. It was stolen from a black market auction. I need it back. Kate, you always want to prioritize a quick exit over a quick entrance. So when things go sideways, and they usually do, have an extra strategy. If you see anything out here, just give me a signal, okay? All right? Ah! Oh, where did she go? Kate. Kate. There you are. Because your ability to act like a grown-up helps you get your way. <laughs> no, it's not. But that is what it is. Good evening, sir. Can I help you with your bag? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't engage. Hmm, I wonder if she's gonna mess up somehow, like... Oh, relax. I'm taking the elevator. I'm sorry. What was that? I'm sorry I wasn't talking to you. Can I tell you a secret? She talks to herself. She can say... I was talking to an Avenger. He's in my ear. Maybe she stopped talking. Why is she saying all that? I'll just uh, take this back. Wait, are you sure? I, it's really no problem. Are right, you take care now. Why did she say all that? Is the key not working or something? Oh. Mm, it's got that sensor there. Right? Took his Rolex. Long as someone used to work with. Is that the whole story? Mm. Somehow I think he's talking about Tony. And if the tracks who's find out about it. So go to come. Goodbye, friend. There it is. They just have it lying out like that? Not no safe or nothing? Another watch. What if they put that tag on another watch to trick them? Because somebody is taking notes on your family. Oh. I love age 14, son Cooper, age 16, son Nate. An alarm. It's a silent alarm for people that can't hear. Oh. It was in Maya's apartment. My right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, shit. We knew this wasn't going to go smoothly. Clint. Fuck. Maya's here. Yeah, I can see that. Maya's on the roof with me. No, Maya. Wait. What? Who the hell am I fighting, then? <laughs> Who is that that he's fighting? Oh, no. Don't tell me a LARPer. <laughs> Who is he fighting? 
Oh. Oh my god. Oh. I guess there wasn't enough of an incline there. Oh. Who is that? Did Maya just kick both of them? No, okay. Yeah, that person punched Maya too. Wait, and were those the rings? They almost kind of look like Shang Chi's rings. Sorry, maybe not though. A quick glance. Whoa, that was way too close for comfort. Oh, was he thinking about Natasha? Mm. She didn't like that very much. Who is this person? It kind of looks like a woman, I think, from the build. I'm trying to... And their mask came off briefly. <gasps> oh, damn. Who is that person? Oh my god! How did I not guess her? How did... Really? Really, Jasmine? Seriously? Oh my god. Oh my god. How did I not guess her? Oh. Your partner, you yes. Your partner, Yelena, Yelena. You're not my partner. You understand that? You never were. Ouch. Someone has hired the Black Widow assassin. She's gotten very real. Very quickly. So I'm doing this alone. Mm. No, you're not. I understand the risk. I understand all of that. I'm not going to do it. Do you hear me? He doesn't want to lose her the way he lost Nat. Go home. But see, I would argue they're already in it together. She's already a target, so they might as well work together. Oh, don't tell me that's how it ends. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, let me just make sure again, no end credit scene. Okay, okay, so not a bad episode at all. And it's funny that Shang-Chi comes up here because the rings that Yelena used there, they look like smaller versions of the rings in Shang-Chi for some reason. So I kind of just blurted that out. I can't believe that I wasn't thanking her. I did say it looked like a woman, which also is, you know, is what Clint thought because he thought it was Maya. The other thing I noticed was that she was fighting against Maya. So right away that told me, you know, they're not on the same side. I don't know, for some reason I wasn't guessing Elena, but of course it makes sense that it was Elena because if you guys watch Black Widow, spoiler alert, you'll know that the post credit scene showed Elena being approached by a Contessa to take out Hawkeye as a target. And so we knew that she was bound to come into the series eventually. Uh, I think even Florence Pugh said she was going to be reprising her role as Elena in the series. Things have definitely gotten a lot more serious very quickly, as Clint said. He now has multiple people after him. He doesn't want to involve Kate in that. You could tell even in that scene alone, the whole apartment sequence at the end there, there are a lot of parallels between that and Endgame. When Kate was hanging off the edge of the building there, that definitely was a parallel in my eyes to Clint and Natasha hanging off the side of the cliff in Endgame. And I think that he felt that connection as well, which is what kind of woke him up to realize that, oh my God, you know, Kate shouldn't be here. What am I doing? I don't want to lose her the same way I lost Natasha. It's very ironic because you have parallels to that scene between Clint and Natasha. And then of course, Natasha's sister shows up um, out of the blue. So this series just got a whole lot more interesting. I'm wondering what's going to happen now because Maya has her own sights set on Clint. So between the two of them, Yelena and, and Maya, I don't know how that's going to work. She could just be completely on her own only caring about taking out Clint and not caring to get involved with Maya and the tracksuit mafia or we could see her end up working with Clint and Kate against Maya or she could join Maya maybe if she finds out that they have the same target I don't know I'm not sure how that's gonna work out let's talk about some of the other moments in the episode as well at the beginning of the episode we see Jack and Eleanor again 
just wants more behaving in a very sketchy manner her mom wants to change the subject she doesn't want to talk about what they were investigating i can't think of any reason as to why that would be unless she was guilty of something. It's still hard to say if she is guilty on her own without Jack's knowledge or if Jack is guilty and she's in on it or if they're equally in on whatever this is together. There's something going on there for sure though. She said a couple of lines to Clint that kind of stuck with me. I think one of them was in reference to Natasha, being good isn't always enough to keep you alive. And I mentioned this in my reaction. I think she was talking about Natasha's skill, like being good as in skilled, but it also could be interpreted as being the good guy being the good person isn't always enough to keep you alive and so is that implying in some way that she is not a good person that she's in fact the villain of the series but it is you know very suspect that jack is the ceo of sloan limited which we found out in this episode was a shell corp used to launder money for the tracksuit mafia that definitely does tie him jack to the tracksuit mafia we don't know what role the mom plays we don't even know if the mom is really behind this and she just somehow put Jack's name on paper. We saw Clint get to talk to Kazi as well, which was really cool. They both have the common goal of wanting to stop Maya's quest to seek vengeance on the Ronin for what he did to her father, right? They both think it could lead her down a dangerous path. Is it possible we could see a potential alliance form here with Hawkeye and Kazi? We didn't see any Kingpin this episode, but we did hear him alluded to a couple of times, you know, like Maya's boss, and he doesn't like this attention. And so they're definitely just trying to build him up a little bit for I think what would be his appearance in the series. I, I do expect him to make an appearance in the series. It would only make sense since they've been building him up so much but I have a feeling that when he finds his way into the show it's not going to be good for our heroes unfortunately. Another big question from the episode is who do the Rolex belong to or who does it belong to um, because Clint describes a person as uh, an old friend. My first thought was Tony Stark because it would definitely be in Tony Stark's character. Or could it be someone else like Nick Fury or something? Or Steve who's retired? Could it be someone that's known by the Kingpin? Because the Kingpin seems to specifically have an interest in this watch, right? It could be even Daredevil maybe. In the comics, the Kingpin actually killed Maya's father and then convinced Maya that it was actually Daredevil who killed her father. So it's possible it could be belong to Daredevil. I'm not sure, but whoever is behind that watch, whoever's the owner of that watch, definitely has a role to play in the story, in this mystery. I'm also wondering about Laura. Is it possible there's more to her backstory that we haven't yet seen? I don't know if it's a coincidence, but she did speak German briefly there, I believe, during one of their conversations. And I don't know if that was just kind of a nod to their background, or was that a hint to something else? Is she some type of agent or something? I don't know if I'm looking too much into that, but it's just something that I did notice. What else did we see? We got to see the LARPers again in this episode. If you guys watched my reaction from the other episode they were in, which I think was episode two, I wasn't a big fan of this scene because I kind of felt like there wasn't really so much that came out of it. I was kind of expecting more. I think seeing them again in this episode, it gave them more purpose. I found myself during their first appearance asking like, what's the point? Okay, he gets the suit and then what? How does this further the story? And now we're seeing how it furthers the story. I wouldn't even be surprised if we see the LARPers having more of a role going forward, maybe um, helping Kate and Clint in other ways. Another thing we got to see in this episode was Kate and Clint's relationship tested a little bit. We saw them have a lot of fun moments getting in the Christmas spirit together, but then towards the end there, he basically kind of coldly told her, you're not my partner, you never were. But we know that it comes from a place of love as well. We know that he does not want to lose her, as I said, the way that he lost Natasha. Now we're going to have this interesting dynamic going forward where Kate wants to be involved in this, where Clint kind of wants her to take a back seat but yeah guys anyways that's it for me you guys let me know what you thought down below in the comments as always and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and share the video as well and i will see you next week for an all new episode of hawkeye until next time guys take care and see you soon